Ray X93 Productions. Nah, it's not another song. I'm just, I'm just on that sex box. You know that X box. It's that black box. You know on the sex box. It's, it's, it's a sex box. It's just that X box. It's that black box. You know that sex box. It's, it's the sex box. You know that X box. It's that black box. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Ray Nice. So I'm actually a bit amped today because I played on the Xbox and got almost a 50 kill game. You're gonna witness it right here. I have found a group of people. They also have a YouTube channel. When I figure it out, it's gonna be in the description or link somehow. Right about now, I didn't know any of them until one day we played and I realized they were a team when we, they jumped in the lobby. And then I was like. If I'm not on their team, I'm leaving because I really don't want to play against good players. And I just so happen to not be on their team, and I'm like, damn. And then about four people leave, and look at that fail. Alright, anyway. <laughs> and four people leave, and then the teams got messed up, and then we had to regroup a new lobby. And as soon as the lobby came back together, I was on their team, and man, oh man, did I enjoy being on their team. I had this guy who was getting about 48 kills a game. I was right behind him, averaging uh, almost 45 kills a game. About five or six in a row, I had 40 plus, and it was pretty crazy to me. I got at least one triple almost every single game. In this game, I didn't particularly get a multi-kill as far as I remember. Also, another thing I want to talk about was on YouTube, how do you feel about likes, dislikes, this and that? What do you do when you go to a video? Do you like the video every time? You like it because you got friends. You like it because you know the person. You like it because you support it. You dislike it because you don't like it. You dislike it because you don't like the person. You dislike it because you don't like the video. Do you dislike it because you just don't like that content in the video? Or do you dislike it because of a certain part? I'd like to know. Please leave your response in my inbox or the comment section. It doesn't really matter to me. You know, I just would like to know what people think. Because I see all the time, I might have six views, have two likes, or... I might have a like and three views, something like that. I just want to know what, what goes through everyone's head. I mean, I don't know if you need an account to like a video or not because I've been using YouTube for so long with an account only that I don't really remember, but I mean, I'm just curious because when I go to videos, I usually like them unless I don't actually like them. And if it's a friend's video, I'm always going to like it. If it's a friend from YouTube, friend of real life, friend from PlayStation, doesn't matter. I'm going to like their video just because I'm trying to support them and whatever they do on YouTube. And basically, if you don't do that, then you don't have to. I mean, I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just telling you that's what I do. And if I don't like to support those because I disagree with it, but high chance I won't do that just because I'm trying to be supportive. You know what I'm saying? I don't always, you know, look at videos and think, what the hell is this? Why am I watching this? I don't understand the purpose of this video, or I don't agree with it. I don't know. I felt like that maybe twice, but I still like the video just because someone I know is doing it. And also, liking your own videos, I don't have a problem with this. My only thing is, if you have a whole bunch of subs, and you're liking your own videos, I think it's kind of funny when I look at it like you need more than your average subs amount of likes. Say you got about 300 and get about 20, 30 likes a video, then yeah, I don't, I don't get it, but <laughs> that's just me just thinking of things. And look at me using the P90 like a boss. I kind of wish I had my uh, support class. I mean, oh, my bad. My assault class. I'm pretty sure I'm running support class in this. I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm running support class. I can't see the actual icons from here. But if I'm running the assault class, that will be pretty much game over. Because I ran the same assault class with every one of my guns. It was just a simple UAV, predator missile, attack helicopter. And this got me 40 plus kills a game. And I mean, that's just what it is. Another question I gotta ask people. What? Ooh. Damn, I just got random grenaded. What goes through your mind if you do this? You see someone, you start shooting at them. They run behind a corner, but they're trapped in that corner. 
and you stand there spraying your gun and spraying and spraying and spraying and spraying. What goes to your mind? Are you, are you even thinking? Are you just gonna keep on shooting hope when they come out? Because I've noticed on both consoles, Xbox and PS3, when you see someone, they will just keep on shooting over and over and over! I'm sorry, it makes me stressed out when I see that crap. And the worst part about it is it's usually like machine gun people, so they have about 100 bullets to fire. Probably more than that, but... Yeah, it's usually like machine gun people. Sometimes they have ACRs and assault rifles. And I think it's a force, because... He's gonna keep on shooting and shooting and shooting. As soon as someone comes out, they're gonna get killed. I mean, I learned how to avoid this. I just wait until they have to stop shooting. And when they stop shooting, that means they're reloading. And then I come out. And usually, I'm not always gonna say this, because I'm not a DBB, a drop shot B word. But uh, I usually jump out and drop shot them. Not always, just usually, because I don't want to get killed. Because they might have sleight of hand. Take that RPG man, for example, last time in my 81 assists. I'm reloading, and I'm still gonna shoot you. Come on, Call of Duty. If you're gonna have lag, at least make sure the lag is, you know, I don't know, reasonable for the players with the perks that we have, like quick draw and sleight of hand. When you use quick draw and throw a grenade, you won't know it. On the other screen of a player you're throwing the grenade at, if you're right in front of them, the grenade flies out before you even throw your hand out. I just want to make that clear to everyone. Sleight of hand, while you're reloading, you're done reloading on your screen. It's all kind of crazy to think about, but it's true. So I'm going to cease this commentary because I've made a lot of videos for the last few days, and I'm going to continue doing this because, you know, when I take long strides, aka long breaks, I always take long periods of time to make a bunch of good videos, and then after I make a good video, you know, I just decide I'm going to make another one, another one, and another one, and then I'm going to take a break, maybe a week, maybe a couple days, maybe two weeks, who knows. I'm going to give everyone some time to watch some videos. Right about now, I'm in the middle of making a montage, and I'm also going to be making Did That Guy Just Walk Right By Me? Part 3, or Episode 3, whatever you like to call it. And then I'm going to start a new series called These Noobs. You're going to see why it's called These Noobs later. But I, YouTube... Right nice is out. I'm gonna give a shout out to Tag, T A G, the average gamer. We got Wayne out here. We got Mamba. We got Polo. We got Team Larco, aka You Hot. I know Kachi's in Tag. I believe Lady Merc's in Tag. Shout out to all y'all, great YouTubers. All right, Ray out.
Taking C. We are triumphant. 